Very good. Nice to meet you. Congratulations on moving. Thank you. Did you enjoy it? I did. You did? Seriously, yes. yeah? No, seriously. Okay, we were good. like, wait a minute. Like, your eyes? <laughs> me and my friend were like, yo, his eyes are like going like this. <laughs> it's like, no that way. would scare me. <laughs> okay, so Colin. Yes. Congratulations on the film, first off. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, Colin was a different type of character for you to play. Like, mm. I've never seen you play a villain to this magnitude. Okay, you know what I mean? Right. So, what type of characters or what type of people did you research and study to, like, you know, nail him? What kind, you know, what characteristics? Yeah, you know, unfortunately, there are many people that, you know, have been in this, these situations, you know, and, and I think the situation is that he went from, you know, he woke up in the morning, thought he was going to be paroled, and then didn't. Right. And then, you know, made a mistake and just kept making more mistakes and more mistakes. And this is actually quite common, you know what I'm saying? And the common uh, factor in all of them is that uh, um, there's a, a slight sort of misadjustment in their psychosis. And they just don't know how to stop just don't know how to sort of measure when they're going wrong. Uh, rage, temper, insecurity all sort of play a factor into this. And I just looked at that and just wanted to understand that. But then he's so evil, I wanted to make him human. I wanted to make him relatable uh, to a point. I wanted to manipulate the audience into liking him a little bit. Okay. And that was something that was uh, important for the story because Taraji likes him for a little bit and then realizes that he's not all there. Right, right, right. Now, you've played an array of characters during the span of your career. Is there any role that you will not, under no circumstances, accept, and why? Um, that's a good question. I mean, man, there are things that I, I just wouldn't find myself doing, but I, I, I don't think I would ever you know, say no to a role based on some personal fears or whatnot, because, mm -hmm. again, you know, like in this character, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not an advocate for violence or violence on women or home invasion or anything, mm -hmm. but the truth is that character does all of that stuff, and, you know, that's not something who I would do. What well, There's not something that I would do, but, you know, if, you know, there are, I don't think as, a, as an actor, I think I'm a character actor, I don't think there's anything I wouldn't do. Okay, There's certain right. things I'd be definitely uncomfortable with, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think you know I would say no. No, okay. Well, moving forward, what is the ultimate goal in your pursuit of searching for happiness? Like w in this stage in your life right now, mm -hmm. what will bring Idris to a state of euphoria and just be like totally bring you full circle? <laughs> uh, that's a great question. I mean, you know, I think it's a, it's about. Well, my, my work is my life, you know what I mean? I'm a workaholic, so my work is my life. So finding where I am with my work is I'm in a happy space. I'm, great. I'm getting great work and I'm, I'm, I'm being able to sort of take charge of that and make work for myself, so that's a great space. Um, I, you know, I'm really, I would like to make my happy, my, my family, my entire family, you know, um, um, secure and happy. That would make me very happy. That's a lifelong dream of mine. Um, you know, and that, that, that's about financial planning and, you know, that's about bringing, you know, your family together. That would be great. Um, but as long as, you know, as long as that uh, my health is there and my mental health is there, then I'm, I'm you know, I'm good. Good. That's, that's, that's a wonderful goal to have. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you so much, Fabiola, Andrew. Great to meet you. It's great to meet you. Happy yeah, early birthday. Yeah, am I going to, oh, up. yeah, it's coming up. I'm, yes. uh, I'm doing Because I grew up in the hood. I know racial profiling exists. I've been racial profiled. My son has experienced it. So when I say something on social media, it's coming from experience. It's not coming from jumping on the bandwagon. Hollywood Today.